Hi, welcome back to the shop. Thanks for stopping by. This week's project is another installment in the Project the Cells series, although this one is not going to be done as a Project the Cells for Beginners series because I am going to use a lot of different shop tools on this one that most beginners wouldn't have. But I've got a piece of wood here and it is a uh, two by two. Uh, the small piece is two and a half inches long and the other piece is about six inches long. Uh, we're going to make a little seal out of this. I'm not sure what kind of wood it is. Even after I finish the project, I'm still not sure what it is. I think it's mahogany. It's really old and it's really dry. Uh, so we'll see how we make out. So to start, we're just going to put these on between centers, round them up with a tenon on them, and then we'll start making some, some body parts there. So this is the first one of these that I made. This is the prototype. I've only seen pictures of them. And I list it under projects that sell because I know from experience at craft sales that these are the types of things that do not last very long on your table. Uh, in terms of sell price, I would want at least $25 or $30 out of this. And since this was the first one of these, um, there's a lot of designing on the fly. Uh, a lot of little tiny light cuts here and there, just reshaping things slightly. Uh, so I did actually speed up the turning to two times uh, so that it isn't quite as long a video as what it was. Uh, you'll see as the video goes on that I'm just taking a little shaving off a little here and there uh, to refine some shapes. Uh, the next one certainly uh, would be much quicker than it, this one. Okay, now we get the body all sanded up and, and the start of the tail sand up. Now what we're going to do is going to come in here and we're going to undercut this so that the tail looks like it has, you know, like a seal's tail, two little fins coming out the back here. So could have actually left this a little bit longer to give myself more room, but I think I'm okay. So I'm going to start cutting this down and making some space and we're just going to cut this in. All right, so when we sand this down, that's going to give us the profile of our tail. And you can make these whatever size you like. They can be fatter or skinnier, longer, shorter, whatever you choose.
All right, now before we part this off, we're gonna mark where the eyes go and I'm gonna drill the eye hole. So there's a little bit of a defect here in the bottom little line in it. I don't wanna see that on him. So we have to sand the bottom of his head off anyhow to mount it to the body. So we're gonna put that straight down, which puts this little circle right up at the top, which is a good reference point to go by. So I'm going to mark an eye right here. And then without moving, we're gonna draw just a very light line right around that arc. That looks pretty close to even between here and here. So I'm gonna drill two little holes for eyes here, and I'm gonna drill a hole for the nose while it's on the lathe, and I've got some nice backing there. All right, so I've got my spindle lock now, and I'm not sure how well that line's showing up, but I've got my line marked here for the eyes, so I'm just gonna drill pretty straight in from here. Same thing on the other side. Now I'm going to drill right in the end of the nose, which I could do with the mandrel and the lathe if I chose, but it's just as easy to do this. Okay. All right, now I'm just gonna sand that line off. Now you don't need to do this with the skew. This is just gonna give me the cleanest cut I can get here on the back of this. I'm gonna sand it all off anyhow. So if you were doing this between centers, you would have this on the nose and here, and you would have it on the front of the body as well. So I'm going to take, and we're gonna make a little jig to put this into, and I'm gonna put this in and, and sand it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a little notch in this. Now you can use your faceplate with a sacrificial block would work just fine. So if you've got a faceplate that screws onto your lathe, you can do the same thing in the center of this as I'm gonna do right here. But where I've got this right here, I may as well minimize my steps. All right, so all I've done is I just drilled a hole in this and I tapered the outside edge just to fit the face of the seal. So you'll just see, he just sits in there. And all we're gonna do is sand this. So I'm gonna put a couple little daubs of hot milk glue on them just to hold them there. I'll take the hot milk glue off when I'm finished with some uh, denatured alcohol or isopropyl alcohol, either one works fine. It doesn't have to be held in there very hard because all that I'm gonna do is sand this back off and get the same finish as I got on the rest of it. Now you can do this by hand if you want to. I just like to do them this way. All right, so you can see I got this back in here now. I just put one spot of glue on one side. All I'm gonna do is sand this up to match the finish and the rest of it. And I'm gonna sand it up. I'll bring you back when I'm taking the glue off. All right, so got everything all finished up here. Now that'll pop right out. And I'm just gonna take some alcohol and wipe that excess glue off. All right, I just uh, turned down a piece of black walnut with the camera off apparently. So all this was just a three quarter inch piece of stock that I had left over. Uh, a little excessive in size for the size of the eyes and nose I'm gonna make, but all I did, I just planed it down with the skew to get it round. Now since the steps are the same on the nose and both eyes, I'm just gonna show you doing, uh, doing one of the eyes here now. So we got everything 
test fit it here now and it's all good. So I'm gonna glue those in. I'm just gonna use a little bit of CA glue. All right, so I am going to use some Starbond medium CA glue for this. And when you buy this stuff, it, they send you a bunch of these micro tips and it's perfect for putting things in these little holes. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue, some CA in all of these holes. Try not to get it anywhere else. Some on here. Doesn't take much, but I couldn't tell how much I was getting there. And if you use CA glue and you like Starbond, you can check out in the description of this video. There's a link where you can get 15, 10 or 15, 10% off, I believe, is Starbond. All right, we'll push these all back in. Nose first. This is much better with smaller hands. Now I'm going to orient the grain on those eyes so they're going the same way. You don't need to, but I'm just kind of fussy like that. All right, super. Okay, now we're gonna take the body of our seal and we're gonna flatten them off and we're gonna shape up the tail. So I made this flat on the flat on the bottom so it'll sit flat and then in the top to get the tail shape I just kind of curved it down a little bit. Next I'm going to sand off the bottom of the head and get that sitting at a little bit of a list. So I'm just checking it here on the bed and now I'm going to sand a flat surface on the top of the body for the head to sit on. And I'm just going to hand sand in here where the, where the little tenon was left over. I've drawn out a rough shape of what I want his uh, front flippers to look like. And I'm just going to cut those out uh, roughly on the scroll saw. I'm going to make two of these. I'll show you cutting out one. So I had the first flipper done and I'm just uh, sanding this one and checking it to the first one. Um, the hardest part about this is because the body is a circle, in a cylinder round, and it's tapered from front to back, you have to really contour that in two, two different uh, planes in order to get a good glue joint where this thing attaches to the body. I'm going to come up with a better way to do this, I think. If you're still with me, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. Thanks again to everyone who subscribes to the channel and watches my videos. I appreciate that a ton as well. If you like what you saw and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Uh, it doesn't cost anything, and it does help the channel out a ton. I'll leave some pictures up at the end, and we'll see you next time.